So when I first started in the fire service, I was working part-time at a fire department, working long shift days as an ER tech. And I had met a girl who worked here and she talked about how it was difficult to get women into the fire service just because of historically has been like a male dominated field. I saw that as like a challenge. I don't know that there's a better fire department to work for in Wisconsin. We've got a really strong culture here. We've got good people. It, it's just a great place to work and a fun place to work. A relative of mine once told me that you're never gonna get rich being a firefighter, but you're gonna get up every day and never not want to go to work. What I love about being a firefighter is showing up to shift every day and not really knowing what you're coming into, what to expect for those 24 hours. The firefighter schedule is unique, it being 24 on, 48 off. Well, the time off, those two days have really uh, been beneficial for my family, my wife and two children spending quality time. That was really the attractive part of this department for me. Mi nombre es Ernesto Mercado. Soy bombero paramédico de la ciudad de Kenosha. I was born and raised in Mexico. Uh, growing up, uh, there was no such thing as uh, emergency services. So a lot of people were relying on neighbors and friends to take care of their needs. Uh, the closest hospital was about two hours away. So when I moved to the US, that was the first time that I heard of the 911 services. So I was amazed, I was impressed uh, how everything works. Aparte de que la ciudad de Kenosha es una ciudad muy diversa, hay mucha gente que habla español y siento que yo puedo Servir y ayudar más a esas, a esas personas. So that's one of the reasons why I decided to become a firefighter paramedic. I would like to make the difference and either directly or indirectly, I'll be helping my community, my people. A little bit more diversity in this department can only make us better. It helps us serve people better outside of the department. It's kind of family oriented and you will get together with a group of individuals and become a part of something more. We're a large professional department, but we're small enough too that everybody knows everybody else. And we're small enough that there's a lot of opportunity here. I didn't realize when I started that I was gonna be a battalion chief. I was a firefighter, I was a driver, I was a lieutenant, I was a captain, and I was a house captain. The thing with Kenosha is anybody can go as high as they want on this department. There's plenty of doors that'll open in front of you. You just gotta pursue them. I'm the first Palestinian um, on Kenosha Fire Department, I'm the first firefighter in my family. I grew up here, born and raised. The Kenosha Fire Department used to go on calls and they'd drive past my house. So I would run out, my mom and my dad would be watching me and run out and I'd be waving and they'd honk the horn at me. And I thought this, they were so cool, just, just driving by and seeing the lights. I just really wanted to give back to my community. I'm actually the vice president of CARE, which is our charity organization. And it was started basically by one of our own getting hurt and we needed ways to collect funds. I think this year we could reach $1 million that we've given back to the community and funds that we've raised. My favorite thing working for Kenosha is the camaraderie around the table. Um, I've never laughed so hard in my life. You work with a really tight knit group. It is a melting pot for diversity as a whole. Everyone, different backgrounds, and we all seem to just accept each other for who we are. When you go on calls together here and go and help our citizens, it doesn't matter where you came from. It matters if you can do this job and do it efficiently and have empathy. And I find that here in Kenosha. Yeah.